in the following questions two equations one and two are given you have to solve both the equations and give the answer choose the answer from one of these if x greater than y x greater than or equal to y x less than y x less than or equal to y uh, if x is equal to y or the relation cannot be established so while posting this question i think kautsav had asked is there an easy way to approach this question okay so first you guys try and because he felt that for this question factorization method is uh, difficult so uh, i understand why kautsav would have said was because of the fact that see, here you have to do 12 into 32 correct so how do you generally solve such questions on uh, equations see you have 12x squared minus 40x plus 32 is equal to 0 so how will we do generally we will say product of two numbers is 12 into 32 and the sum of the two numbers is 40 and then we find out what are the two numbers whose product is this and whose sum is this so here this multiplication has to be done right very big number so for us also to find out the factors it's going to be little difficult how would you do it in an easier way first whenever you have question on equation look at the given equation and see if there are any common factors for all the given numbers see all these numbers are divisible by 4 correct so this equation i can rewrite it as i'm just dividing this equation by 4 throughout so i will get 3x squared minus 10x plus 8 that is equal to 0 so basically i divided the full equation by 4 because 4 is divisible that makes it easier right so if you break the given equation into smaller numbers if you are able to do that then that's a shortcut actually for you to arrive at the answer faster similarly look at this 8y squared minus 40y plus 48 is equal to 0 all these numbers are divisible by 8 so you can rewrite this equation as y squared minus 5y plus 6 is equal to Zero. Now we will solve. It is very very easy to solve. This one directly, all of us will know the answer that it is three and two. Roots are three and two because this is the basic equation that we learn. Whenever we do quadratic equation, the first question most of us do will be this to learn this whole topic itself. So, how will you solve this? You have three x squared minus ten x plus eight. is equal to 0 so i have product of two numbers which is 24 and sum of two numbers which is 10 so which are the two numbers uh, 6 and 4 6 6 plus 4 is 10 6 fours are 24 so what is the roots that i am looking for 6 divided by 3 and 4 divided by 3 these are the roots that i am looking for so the value of x is nothing but 2 and 4 by 3 again what will be the sign since it is negative here and positive here both the roots will be positive use the sign table okay learn the sign table if you don't know i am writing this using the sign table when the co when the uh, coefficient before the bx term is negative and the coefficient i mean and the uh, and the c term right it is positive see if it is if the equation of this form ax squared minus bx plus c is equal to 0 then both the roots are positive okay so here both the roots will be positive so this is using the sign table i hope all of you know that so these are these are the values of x p is telling me uh, sum is 11 how is sum 11 this is 10 this is the sum okay similarly you have y squared minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0 so here i have product of two numbers that is the coefficient of the y square term and the coefficient of the constant term right so or not coefficient of the constant term just the constant term i am multiplying that so product of two numbers is one here one right 1 into 6 that is 6 sum of the two numbers is this 5 so what are the two numbers the two numbers has to be 3 and 2 right so 3 by 1 and 2 by 1 divided by the coefficient of the square term so 3 by 1 and 2 by 1 both the roots will be positive so these are the roots that i am looking for so the value of y is 3 comma 2 and if you compare x and y what is the relationship between x and y either x is equal to y when they are two right otherwise y is greater than x so y is greater than or equal to x that is the relationship between x and y either y is equal to x or y is greater than x so which will be your answer option d see x is less than y or equal to y right if it is 2 then x is equal to y na so you have to consider that also so 
like I said, I am following the sign table method here to factorize and get the answer for these questions. If any of you are new to this sign table concept, please refer uh, to other video lessons on sign table so that it's easier for you to understand what I am saying.